it's really special to be in the French capital to celebrate the end of our Gourmet Tour 2017. The Montorgueil Street in the heart of Paris is full of charm and one of my favorite Parisian streets to stroll and enjoy a glass of champagne. This is the oldest patisserie in Paris opened by Nicolas Thora in 1730, who previously was the king's patissier in Versailles. He is remembered for creating the famous Baba au Rhum. On the left bank of the Seine River, the sophisticated restaurant Guy Savoie is one of the finest in Paris. The food is modern and outstanding. It is an honor for me to meet the chef Guy Savoie, to tour his kitchen and speak about our common love of French cooking. Guy and his chefs are perfecting a new menu. His oyster dish with a granité of seaweed and lemon has evolved over the years. The new duck dish with delicate spring vegetables is cooked to perfection. Tous les pays ont une cuisine, mais la France a une gastronomie. On a les savoir-faire ancestraux, hein, c'est-à-dire que ça, ne, ça nous coule dans les veines depuis, depuis des générations et des générations. On doit remercier la nature, hein, qui, est, qui est généreuse avec la France, et une multitude de produits. The dining room looks superb with world-class artwork. My lunch is memorable and a chance to experience the amazing oyster dish. The red mallet is a taste of Provence. The artichoke and truffle soup, served with a flaky brioche, is one of Guy's signature dish. The new dessert of strawberries, refreshed with basil and trapped in a thin meringue sphere, is a knockout. Mm. This is when you know that French cuisine is an art form. It was a privilege for me to present Tesla Tour 2017 from so many stunning regions, from Germany to the Alps and from Provence to the Pyrenees. This year, more than ever, I saw French gastronomy shine through great markets displaying the best and most unique regional ingredients, especially with fish, fruits and vegetables, and of course, cheese. French cakes and desserts are reaching new artistic heights and I am so grateful to all the dedicated artisans for living with me and forgettable taste memories. So until next year, merci and au revoir.